new polling on the 2020 presidential race. Former Vice President Joe Biden with a lead over President Trump. 48% of the respondents saying that they would vote for Biden if they were to cast their ballots today. As we look at that from last month, that is up 6% for Biden, down 2% for President Trump. RNC National Spokeswoman Liz Harrington joining us now. Liz, appreciate it. What do you make of the numbers? Well, I'm starting to think you guys are calling the same 1,000 people who said Hillary Clinton was going to win by 10 points in 2016. Well, Liz, Liz, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, but we, we go through this every time when we talk about polling. At the end of the day, Hillary Clinton was up by a couple of points in the national average of the RCP polling right before the election. She won the national vote by a couple of points. Isn't there some reason to say something other than uh, just the polling's bad? Well, these polls, they haven't metrics, and they're historically when you look at the facts on the ground and you look at the energy we're seeing, President Trump is growing support. He's delivered on his promises. And it's very interesting in your poll that's slanted towards the Democrat. It polls more Democrats than Republicans. Joe Biden still doesn't win on his signature issue of who would you prefer on the economy? Because the American people know President Trump this country, and he's going to be the one to do it. Liz, we're having a little bit of trouble hearing your microphone Joe with Biden the Skype connection. The we're going to try to get that fixed. We'll put up right now the DNC versus RNC fundraising numbers. Uh, to take a look at these. And it's important to look at the fundraising numbers. Uh, this is 2019 through latest cash on hand, DNC, 40 million, RNC, almost double that with 77 million. We'll also take a look at the Trump versus Biden April Hall as we look at this. Biden, 60.5 million, Donald Trump, 61.7 million. We understand that the Trump campaign is gonna put about a million dollars into advertising centered around Joe Biden's comments about, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. What are those ads gonna look like? Well, it's gonna show Joe Biden's history of racially insensitive remarks. This didn't just happen this week. This is a man who said in 2008, called Barack Obama clean and articulate, and that's a storybook. This is a man who bragged about getting an award from George Wallace in the 1970s and bragged about Delaware being on the south sides of the Civil War. This is who Joe Biden is. And if he's running on character, there is a lot to be asked for when you look at these racially insensitive remarks where he doesn't see an individual. He just sees a voting block that he feels he's entitled to as a career politician, and it's really insulting. Well, we've certainly seen him walk these uh, those points back in the past couple of days. Back to the polling that we started with, and we'll put up the trust to do a better job on. You mentioned that President Trump leads on the economy 42-45 in this. He's uh, lagging behind on China, the coronavirus, and healthcare, but this brings up a different question. Is it better for President Trump to be the underdog going in to a general election? He certainly used it that uh, place in the race effectively against Hillary Clinton. Well, President Trump, he wrote the art of the comeback. And if you're talking about the uh, state of what we had with this unprecedented pandemic coming from China, he's the one that's gonna lead us out of it. And President Trump fights for America. That's always what this contrast has been, whether it was in 2016 or now 2020. You have establishment Democrats who've never done anything except live in the swamp. And you have a real outsider who loves this country and delivers real results for the American people. He still fights every single day, President Trump, for this country. Yeah. Sarah, He's well, going to continue along, to do it. And there's a, an amazing that line, contrast Cheryl Atkinson issue issue. Uh, is uh, quoting President Trump as saying in an interview tomorrow, I have a chance to break the deep state. Uh, that interview airing tomorrow from Cheryl Atkinson. Uh, we appreciate it, Liz. Good to see you as always. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. You too. Thanks for having me.